Uh, do you consider yourself a capitalist or a socialist? Um, I've been a small business owner for 33 years, so you tell me. Okay. All right. So you're saying capitalism. <laughs> I know a little you're, bit about uh, capitalism. Let's you're put it saying that way. you're a capitalist, correct? Yeah. When you're a small business owner, since you got out of college and had hair and longer than probably um, anyone, uh, you know, the Republicans in Congress have owned a small business, more than 98 percent of them. Yeah, I think I'm pretty good at understanding. Okay, capitalism. I, I appreciate I, I, the I, answer. I, I love the answer. However, in this tax yeah. plan here, you're going to go after some Americans and you're going to you're going to tax more than 60 percent of their gross income, depending on where they live in the country. I'm, I, I, I know you want the revenue. Is that fair? It's just an endless show of political partisanship, sticking it to the libs no matter what. You know, the fact that this news anchor asked this congressman, do you consider yourself a capitalist or a socialist? It's so elementary. I mean, it's not even a deep question. It's not even a real question. But, you know, Americans are totally distracted most of the time, especially far right wingers who watch Fox News. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Jackson White, co-founder and chief of content at Politiscope, and thanks for once again tuning in today to TYT. Now, what's really interesting about how these types of networks and the Republican Party propaganda works in general is how they always focus on taxes and not wanting to raise taxes for the wealthy or for corporations, no matter what. And they always get, you know, their, their poor voting base, you know, the older, the older whites who, who watch Fox News, a lot of them at least, to think that that somehow is going to impact them as if they don't look out the window and see that, again, things like their, their school systems, their roads, uh, the infrastructure in general that keeps them safe, maybe their access to certain opportunities, that they don't have access to these things to keep life sustainable and, and of high quality. And yet they also seem to never get that. In order to improve those types of things in any type of systemic organized way, you have to have an effective tax system. And right now, we always have this emphasis on lowering taxes for those who have all the capital to give in the first place. So again, are you a capitalist or a socialist? That really just doesn't dive into any of those issues. It doesn't dive into any of the societal issues that we all face as one. Which is why it's so ridiculous, because it's like clearly this guy, again, like you said, he's a business owner. So clearly he's a capitalist and I don't really know much about him in the first place, whoever he is. But, you know, this is what Fox News does. And millions and millions and millions of people eat it up because it's thoughtless entertainment. But my my some point is some Americans who are, high, really who are high earners between state and city and Washington and Obamacare, they're up 60 percent, 61 percent of gross. Last question. Um, yeah, I'll tell you, you, you had a very and the one, one last question that was got that was taken out during the Trump era tax cut that affected those folks more than almost anything. So uh, you're right. If those folks are upset that they're paying more in taxes, uh, they should go to the Republicans who uh, passed that bill that benefited got the top on the salt deal.